All right, fam, so I am back at it again with another crazy video, y'all. This video right here, fam, it, it, man, oh my gosh. The things that this woman done said out of her mouth, ooh, ooh, <laughs> y'all might need a little drink after this, and I'm not promoting drinking, but I'm just saying, bro, this, this is gonna make you get a little sip of wine, you know what I'm saying? Because the stuff she said, Ah, oh, man, I can't, man. Look, I don't got no words for it. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and watch these three clips and then I'm gonna get my thoughts at the end. So, without further ado, hit the like button, subscribe to no post notifications. Let's get it. Let's go. The body count is, it's not 2,000, it's over 2,000 now. Like, How old are you? you? I'm 27. What? So, since that Please. interview, I've had sex with more people. <laughs> oh, my God. What are your rates? Okay, so this is my thing, right? Okay. I'm a dancer first. Okay. So let's start there. So my main occupation, the main way I get money is being a stripper. Okay. I go to work, people throw dollar bills at my naked body. Okay. So now it's like an extracurricular activity. It's not something I do every day. It's not something I wake up like, hey, I need to find somebody to pay me to have sex. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's really like, okay, it might be... A day where, okay, some nigga, he got 3000 he throwing me money, whatever, whatever, and he's just like, yo, I want to see you after the club. What mm -hmm. I got to do? Or how much more do you want? And I'm going to give him a price, and if the price is right, I just, the body count is, it's not 2000 it's over 2000 now. Like, Here's a list of jobs that men should not do, especially grown-ass men, okay? For one, McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's. Matter of fact, any fast food restaurant, if you think that you are a grown-ass man working in a fast food restaurant is okay, something is wrong with you, all right? Leave those jobs to the teenagers. My nephew can't even get a job right now because there's some grown-ass men in his goddamn 40s flipping my goddamn burger. Okay, let it go. Leave it alone. That job is not for you. Anything in retail, okay? I don't want to see no grown ass man handing me a dress, okay? Why are you a grown ass man working at Ross? That makes absolutely no sense, okay? Target, Marshalls, like guys, give it up. Leave these jobs to the kids. Leave these jobs to the teenagers. These are jobs you get in high school, in college. But once you're a grown ass man, you do not need to be working in any fast food restaurant or any retail restaurant. And for you high value men that think that it's high value to work for the city, <laughs> Let me tell you something. You're absolutely wrong, all right? No police officers, no firefighters, no construction workers, no mailmen, no post office. Um, if you consider that a high value man, you're absolutely wrong, okay? There's nothing high value about making 70000 a year. You men that think working for the city is high value, it's actually not, okay? It's pathetic. It's sad, all right? I don't want my husband coming home smelling like trash. Yes, we do need people to take the trash out, but don't come to me thinking that that's a high value job. Absolutely not, okay? You guys need to go get some real careers, okay? Become an entrepreneur or something, all right? Own a Lamborghini or something. Like, you guys thinking that this, you driving around, here in a fucking Toyota and thinking that you're a high value man because you work for the fucking post office. You're absolutely wrong. Stop it. All right. You're low value. All right. And if you want a high value woman like me, you need to switch your career path. You love that woman. Let her go be with a rich man until you get rich and then just get her back. You love that woman. Oh my gosh. All right. Um Wow. Wow. <laughs> bro, this bro, I never knew there was actual women out here like that. I didn't know women actually some women. I didn't know some women actually think like this. I, seriously, you really sat there and just said a man Making seventy thousand a year is not high value, bro. Make at least your man making something. Seventy thousand, bro. That could take care of you. That could take care of. That could provide for a family, bro. Depending on how he spend it. Depending on you know how he used the money. But seventy thousand is a lot of money to make a year. And I'm tripping y'all. I just think that's a lot of money. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. I believe that is a lot of money to make a year. You know what I'm saying? Seventy thousand a year. That's that's decent bread. 
And then, first of all, what do you have against Toyota? Don't Toyota Camrys be looking nice. I'm just saying. Okay, let me stop joking. All jokes aside, though, real talk, this, the stuff that she said, bro, now, the only thing I agree with, and I know you probably like, bro, you agree with anything she said out of her mouth? You're I, look, the only thing I agree with is I don't believe in comfortability. I don't believe that that as as men, as women, as people, I just don't believe that we should be comfortable wherever you're at. I always feel like it's room to grow. You know what I'm saying? If you've been at your job for 6, 7, 18 years now, and you're still in the same position from when you first came in, I believe that there's always room to grow. I just feel like you're too comfortable in that position. I always feel like you can move up in a ladder. You know what I'm saying? You could be the manager. You could be the CEO. You've been there for 18 years, so why don't you grow? You know what I'm saying? That's the only thing I agree with. You know what I'm saying? At least that's how I took one thing that she said. At least that's how I took it. Now, however, when you're talking about quitting these certain jobs and men shouldn't work at this and men shouldn't work at that... First of all, we need men to be police officers. We need men to be firefighters. We need men to be doing these jobs because, trust and believe me, if something was to happen to you, you will want a man that is in a uniform to come and protect you, to come and save you, right? Am I lying? I'm just saying, you can't say that, oh, the, these jobs is these for the teenagers. If a man just got out of jail, this is just a scenario. If a man just got out of jail, how many options does he really have? You know what I'm saying? The only job that he may be able to get is a fast food restaurant job. The only other job he may be able to get is a retail job or a warehouse or a factory job. These are only jobs that he's able to get. He just got out of jail. He don't have too many options. Would you rather want a man to go into selling weed and doing all these things? Because you want an entrepreneur. Would you rather a man go into selling these things to get himself back put, put back right in jail or either killed? Or would you want him to go into a 9 to 5 and work on himself Focus on himself and get his money back up. Do, like, which one would you rather have? You know what I'm saying? Which one would you rather have? I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? We, we, I don't know what we're sitting here talking about, bro. It's always good to serve other people's careers. It's always good to serve one another. Like, literally, when you're serving another person's career and without getting paid, it's a lot of times that I have served other people without no money, without no handouts, without none of that. I serve because that's the kindness of my heart. I'm always willing to serve other people's dreams and other people's careers. You know what I'm saying? I'm always willing to serve these people, but guess what that's doing to me? That's humbling me. So when my time does come, I'm humbled. I'm humbled to be able to take care of the things I have because I know what it feels like to not have anything. I know what it feels like to be serving at a job that I don't really want to work at, but I'm serving there because this is what I need to do. I know what it feels like. So when I do have my own, I know how to, I know how to be humble with what I do have with what God has given me. You know what I'm saying? But let me tell you this also, not everybody is called to be an entrepreneur, sweetheart. Not everybody is called to be an entrepreneur. Seriously. Not everybody is called to be an entrepreneur. I mean, you talk about own a Lamborghini or something. Like, first of all, what if your what if the man don't want a Lamborghini? What if he just want to be in a Toyota Camry? What if he just want to be in a Toyota Prius? Like, what what if a man just want to be in a Honda, a Kia? I mean, I'm just saying, bro. What if a man don't want these type of things that you're asking for? This is why a lot of women don't find good men because they have this long list of things they consider high value when well, you need to literally rip up that list. You need to rip up that list and rip up everything that you ever say that you want on these lists. It's good to have standards, but bro, your standards be out the ballpark. You talking about 1% of men that's that's out here making 100K a year, 200, 300K, 400K, 1 million a year. That's 1% of men. Not every man is making that much a year, bro. Trust it, believe me, especially in today's economy, bro. I don't know what type of man you looking for, but you but you ain't gonna find a Bill Gates all the time. You ain't gonna find an Elon Musk all the time. It's possible, but you not gonna find it all the time. And then you talk about high value. Oh man, two thousand bodies is crazy. That, 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 that's crazy. Two thousand bodies, <coughs> bro. Two th bro, that's like saying I just smoked 2,000 squares. I mean, I, I it, that's how equivalent it is. Both of them is crazy. You just, like, seriously, 2,000 of them things? You telling me you just had 2,000 different thing of things go inside? That is, re bro, that is a, a, a crazy number. That is a crazy number. I'm sorry.
That is wild, bruh. And look, I don't know what got you to the point where you felt like that was okay. Because if it was me, I would have stopped that. Like, man, I would have stopped that three. Because three is too much. I'm just saying. Your body should not be shown to every single man. 2,000 people should not know how your body look. And I'm being 100% honest with y'all, bro. 2,000 people should not know how your body look. The only person that should know how your body look, whether this a man or a woman, the only person that should know how your body look is your husband, is your, is your wife. 2,000 women don't know how my body look, and 2,000 men don't know how my, my, uh, my, uh, my wife's uh, body look. 2,000 men is ridiculous, bro. And, and the fact that you think it's okay, you're saying, oh, I'm 27, I got 2,000 body. Actually, it's kind of more over 2,000. <laughs> it's not funny. It's sad. It's sad, bro, because you're lost. You're 27 and you're lost. And trust and believe me, like I said, I don't know what got you to the point where you start to think it, thinking that this was okay because this is the problem with money. The love of money is the root to all evil, and it seems like you really love money. It seems like you really love money, but look at what the love of money is causing you to do. I like money. I like having money, but I don't love it to the point where it's going to cause me to go really crazy about it. Oh, I got to do this. I got to do this for somebody. I, it, it's not going to get me to that point, but I like having money in my pocket. But I would never go overboard to, to, to love money more than I love my own self, to love more than I love my own temple. This body that God has given you is a precious body and you need to rejoice over this body. But you abusing your temple that God giving you. God giving you this temple. This is bought with a price. And you just out here degrading your body. You're out here degrading. Ain't nothing wrong with getting money. Ain't nothing wrong with having a career. But the way that you're going about getting your money is not pleasing to your, to your heavenly father. It's not regardless of what religion you in. I am a believer in Jesus Christ, but I know that you degrading your body like this is not pleasing to your heavenly father. It's not pleasing to the one who created you. D women need to do better. Okay, seriously, we need we need to do better as a society, but man, the way that you just said everything is just kind of scary. It's scary, bro, because you think 2,000 bodies is okay. You talk about high-value man, but I believe that a high-value man is a man who could take care of you, a man who could provide for you, a man who who you ain't got to worry about bills because he got it all taken care of, a man that can lead you because he's allowing God to lead him. That's a high-value man, a man who commits himself to the Lord so he could be able to lead you in the right direction that the Lord want him to lead you into. That's a high-value man. But you talking about a high value man because he working a regular nine to five? Okay, you could be an electrician, a construction worker. You could be a plumber. Uh, you could be a. Uh, you could work for cybersecurity. You could do all these different jobs, and that's easily hundred k a year. That's easily eighty one k minimal for if you are cybersecurity. If you cybersecurity, that's eighty one k minimal, minimal yearly. So maybe we need to switch up our definition of what high value really is. Because trust and believe me, you continue to live this way and live this lifestyle. Not only are you continuing to be comfortable in your sin, but but it will be hard for you to really find a good husband that want to take care of you. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe there is a man out there who's willing to take care of you, even with your 2,000 bodies. Even with your 2,000 bodies. But the fact that I got to sit there as a man and know that my woman just slept with 2,000 people and that 2,000 men know how my body... Imagine me out with my homie and I'm like, yeah, man, I got this fine thing. I'm finna go ahead and propose to her. I show him a picture of you and he say, oh, snap. That's Diamond with the body. Oh, bro, I cracked that two years ago. Wow. Oh, bro, I'll be hurt. I'll be hurt. I'm just saying, because it's 2,000 people. That's a lot of people. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this video in the comment section below. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Uh, Diamond, I think that's her name, Diamond the Body. Yeah, Diamond the Body. Look, I'm not here to judge you. <laughs> I'm not here to, to say that you're disgusting, say you're nasty, say you're a slut. I'm not here to call you any of them things. I'm here to just let you know that the Lord Jesus Christ loves you. He loves you. Okay, I know that I, yes, I believe that 2,000 bodies is crazy. I believe that. I mean, I'm pretty sure that is a big number to you too. I also believe that the stuff that you said about a high value man is false. 
But what I do know for a fact is that it's someone out there who loves you more than anything. I don't know what your story is. I don't know what you've been through. I don't know if you've been touched. I don't know none of that stuff. I don't know when you start having sex. I don't know none of that. All I know is that Jesus Christ loves you and he died on the cross for your sins. You need to go ahead and repent, give your life to Jesus Christ, and actually commit yourself to him. Okay, he's going to love you more than any of these dudes is going to, any of these dudes that's trying to st sticking and sticking and sticking and rolling, they, they don't love you for real. They love your body. They don't love you. And I know that you have a beautiful heart. I know that there's something deep inside of you that honestly you, you, you have a, you, I don't know you, but I know that your heart is pure and I know that your motives are pure. It's just that you've been around too many people, probably unlike-minded people, people that's not like-minded, people that are not equally yoked to the father, people that are just living in sin also. So, of course, your mindset is starting to be like their mindset because that's who you hang around the most. But once you commit yourself to the Father, your mindset starts to change because the Bible tells us to not be conformed to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So your mind starts to change. Your heart starts to change. Your heart, it starts to change. So that means your outer actions start to change. All the things that come out of your mouth, it starts to change. You will start to look at men differently. You will realize that it's okay to have a nine to five as a man. You will realize that it's okay for a man to make 70K a year. You will realize these things once you fully commit yourself to the father. And look, I know that some people not even some people not even saved and they already think like this. But I believe that you're that what you're missing right now in your life is you believing in Jesus Christ. You believe in Jesus Christ, and you may you may say, Oh, I do believe in Jesus Christ. I am a Christian. But this is the problem with some of these Christians is that they know of God, but they don't know God. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They know of him. They don't know him for real, though, because if you knew him, you will live by his word, by his living word. But if you know of him, then you're going to continue to live the way that you've been living, the patterns of sin. You're going to continue to live how you want to live without no repentance. I love you, Diamond. God loves you. Jesus Christ loves you. Commit yourself to him. Commit yourself to him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Follow your boy on all social media platforms down below. It's been your boy, Japan. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.